Welcome back adventurers, I'm an adventurer like you and we're making a fresh start in Farthest Frontier. As you maybe can see down in the corner we have had some updates. We are now on version 075D. So I made a video about the dev uh, diary or whatever they call it, dev update. Um, for 075 which is quite a major update and it has been advised to start a fresh map so that you get the actual improvements in the game so that's what we're doing and uh, i have rolled a new map i will show you the settings i used pretty much the same there's one major difference um from dark vale and um, we're starting a new town and we can apply what we have learned before so let's uh let's get to it enough talk right um i also have um, a mod as you will see a camera mod and that will help with the overview so the settings i've used not this, this settings, the new settlement settings is um random so random map type generates a random map that can vary significantly between mountains and flatland, lakes or dryland and various mixes of biomes. So it's not just a random map type, it actually takes um, parts of the different map types and puts them all together into one map. So that means we will have mountains and lakes and marshes and... Uh, arid highland places stuff like that so it's a it's a real mix of stuff um and that is what i did and then like last time i went and downgraded the raiders because i don't really enjoy that mechanic in the game and i have upped the difficulty for the starting resources again of course i used an other map seed so i'll show you that as soon as we get in um and i'm gonna go to load game this is the one i've chosen newland newland has this seed if you're interested we're starting with 10 villagers it's year one i have placed the uh, town center to make this save and then uh, that's it i have done nothing else except look around for a good place to plop down our town center so Yes, the um, most of the improvements in this update are actually for the middle and late game. Um, things like barns and cows and so on. I consider that middle game stuff that we didn't get to in Dark Vale. So here in Newland, let's see what we can do. Um, we're already on the fourth hotfix of this major update. Well, I'm calling it a major update, big update, whatever the 075 update already got four hot fixes there are some problems even in the current version there may be problems but we're in early access so that is to be expected so here we are and this is one of the things that i hope they will improve we start with the time running i think it should start paused and then when you are ready you can unpause but anyway it doesn't matter and uh, so i've set the town center here we have this enormous lake here let me see if i can yeah get the camera mod working um obviously when you first get into it there is much more visible over the map but there is an enormous lake here at the top and that is very interesting and there are some mountains not too far and there is this marsh here down on the screen which is nice because it has medicinal roots and a willow and willow is needed to make baskets and that's a tech that is available quite early on but yeah i've never had the resources to make them before i think even in like my offline games anyway so we have these people here 10 unhappy villagers because now they need to do some work. But hey, come on, you wanted your freedom. So let's get to work. We have the town center here. Of course, I don't need to prioritize it, but I could. Um, 
and then we want a couple of dirt roads probably um there is one problem i already saw that here where there is a little mountain and uh, there are boar so they are going to bother us for sure and there may even be wolves on the other side so we'll have to defend ourselves but we're close to the lake which is good for fishing we don't have a like um plus 50 percent bonus fishing place anywhere nearby that i've seen so we'll just have to do with normal fishing but that will definitely help bring some diversity and some protein into the diet um we have some greens nearby so they can be gathered foraged and even here we have little bushes nearby um that's for later though yeah we will want a forager we will want a hunter because we have deer and a fisher that's usually what i start with i say usually like i'm a veteran player but i'm not um so i'm not even sure if i shall do a main road north to south so to say or east to west i have faced this to the west side because i think we should put other major buildings here like the market and a school and so on and then houses on either side of that that is kind of my strategy and then um let's see the fertility this is a very fertile area here so this is our future farming area and then i guess we need some kind of industry area too if we're going to plop down the houses along the coast here we don't want industry in this field maybe in between or behind but then of course we have potential problems with the boar here we'll need to send some people to kill those okay i'm gonna pop down a dirt road alongside the um, town and here to dirt 40 okay and all along here Now it seems that kind of worked. I didn't get the normal sound for plopping down a road, but that's fine. Um, the other thing is water. Of course, we have loads of water nearby, so we have some um, wells here. But even on the other side, here with the marsh, we will have no problem finding water. I think the major problem for us will be the wildlife, the boars and the wolves attacking us. But there are so many resources here in the water that I think uh, that's what I want to go for anyway. So I think I'll put some of the initial um, industry, if you can call it that, over on this side. And then housing more towards that direction. So we can't unlock anything until the town center is built uh, in terms of the market and so on, or housing or storage, but food production is possible. So I'm going to start with a fishing shack, I guess somewhere along here this is hazelnut bushes maybe we want to keep those not sure if you can move them or not okay let's put the fishing stack over here then a forager is mostly going to be over here, right? Greens and stuff.
but I don't want to put buildings in the high fragility area, at least not right from the start. Um, I guess if we continue this road for a bit, then we could plop it down here for a turn. Um, there, and then on the opposite, opposite side, a hunter. Like that. So, okay. Uh, we'll need some trees, bushes and berries. No, just, uh, what's all this hawthorn? We don't really care about that so much. But I think we want to keep this clump of trees and bushes. Maybe put a well here. So these need to go. Like so. Yeah, that's good enough. We may need some stone. There isn't a lot here. There is some, and there is this stone. Um, I moved the map around, right? So if the mountain is here, it's possible that we'll find more stone over on that side and put a work camp there later. Um, I'll mark this one as well. They really need to, they could go and get this one. All right. That's probably it for now. Let's get started with chopping down some trees. Yeah, and I've sent some feedback to the developers that um, the priority system is not working for me, not as I expected. So let's see what kind of improvements they come with in terms of that. Okay, well, I think we'll go to speed 2 for as our base speed now. Okay, so we have some smoked meat and some root vegetables. Probably want to pass towards this. Can we already do a well? We can. And even a firewood splitter is possible. Okay. Yeah, we know there's a housing shortage and firewood is low. I mean, we need to build the town center first before we can do anything of importance, right? There it is. Okay, so there is our town center. Um, I'm gonna get a well. Just right next to the trees, right there. Uh, what are our resources? We have nothing in terms of logs or stone in this one. And... Yeah, okay. We have 10 unhappy people who need housing. Um... If there are people going to be working here, maybe it's a good idea to plop a house down here. Right next to the um, the well. Makes things easy, right? And then on the other side. Maybe here. And here. 
three houses that should give us enough for 10 people it will actually give us for 12 people and once we have that we should be set for the winter but we'll need a firewood splitter and i want a smokehouse as well let's go for the firewood splitter first this is something that people don't want to live next to so i'm going to put that over here extend this road and um yeah, we should build here because that's like our first place where we can forage. There are some nuts here. Okay, that's good. Yeah, let's include that. When you say there are nuts here. One one. It's just Hawthorne. Greens, deer nearby. Yeah, I'm not seeing where the nuts are supposed to be. Because if there are, I don't want to build on top of them. But I guess I'm just blind. Anyway, there he is. Zeglan. Foraging greens, very nice. And this one is ready as well, but he needs firewood. Uh, Yike is going to be hunting. Um, there are deer here, so I'm gonna set you up for this area. The boar over here, yeah, I know. And they're not indicating wolves. The thing is, I just read that a single hunter will not go and try and kill a boar. You need multiple people to do that. So. And we have some uh, blueberries here. And it's only there, and the rest here is just greens. More blueberries here. Blueberries are good, although they um, spoil very fast. Okay, let's do that for now. We'll need to keep moving it. And uh, this is our firewood splitter here. And we need five stone for the well. This has ten. Let's prioritize that one. Although it's a mystery to me how the prioritization system works. I guess it's more complex depending on all the different kinds of jobs that need to be done. But I have found that, for example, the firewood splitter gets pretty high priority. Which may, may be understandable when the winter is coming. But other than that... Predator sighted. Where? A wolf. Okay, he can take care of a wolf, I think. Hopefully. Villager attack. And yes, he killed the wolf. Well done. Uh, yike, right? See, I can even uh, zoom in a lot more. Yike. Yike the hunter. You're very good at this. I like you. Yeah, we know, we know. And we have the fishing shack ready. Ready. Um, 
So that's 130%, 140%. Well, let's do that. And then I want a smokehouse as well. So that means uh, industry is apparently going to be on this side and we will need some storage here as well. So, um, Mocas. This is the firewood splitter. So, if we leave a little space in between. Maybe if one burns down, they don't both burn down. And uh, can we have a root cellar? A stockyard. Why can't we have a root cellar? Because we first need to build a stockyard. Okay. Where shall we place the stockyard? I guess we could temporarily place it here, but this is eventually where I want the market and the trading post. So maybe here? Yeah, let's do a road. So, then, stockyard, the other way, right, flush up to the road. Yeah, I can put a house up front, either side of it, I guess. Yeah, you have no firewood. I know. People are busy. Yeah, maybe we should... No, it's still early, but... Okay, let's prioritize this. So this rock has been harvested. How about this rock? Bringing down the trees nicely. See, I say prioritize this, but they will still bring logs here. Yeah, okay, I guess somebody else was going this way. Alright, so now we have a firewood splitter. One person is enough. Uh, we still have plenty of time before the winter. Um, yeah. I might even disable it after we get some firewood. Right? Right. Did we get the well? Yeah, we did. All right. Basic well. Nice. Oh, here are the nuts. That's, of course, yeah, I had seen those before, the hazelnut. That's why I avoided 
putting the um, fisherman shack on top of them. You are unhappy, why? Because you have no beer, you have no shelter, and you're not clean. Well, you can take a bath right in the lake. And shelters are being worked on. Yeah, you now should have shelter. Okay, so happiness is up. My villagers aren't concerned about clothes yet. Interesting. Nor beer, nor entertainment or luxury. So everything else is taken care of. More people wait. Where to join your settlement? Amass a four month supply of food and six houses. We already have 12 months of food. Although 10 of them will. Well, now it's 10. And nine of them will spoil in the next few months. Uh, because it's just fresh meat and fish. There is some smoked meat and there are some root vegetables and some nuts. The berries have already been eaten. Very good. Uh, plenty of berries here now, so you will be retargeted with the nuts and the berries and the greens there. Very good. Um, how is our... You're doing well, right? Okay. That is good. And you're making firewood, so people can stock up on firewood. Apparently these have already been stocked. And we're just waiting for the houses. Um, what's next? That is the question. What's next? We still cannot build a market because we need a storehouse and a saw pit. Uh, so a storehouse. What? Storehouse. So we we have a stockyard. What? No, the stockyard is still being built. Okay. So can you guys prioritize that now? I think it's the only building project left at the moment. No. It's also the smokehouse. Okay. Needs one more stone. And we have one more stone, prioritized even, and there is something here as well. That can be harvested. And even here, let me see. Yeah. There are some stones around, so I'm not sure. Well, it depends when they get to them, right? We have enough food for now. We probably should build a couple more houses so that we can expand and get more workers for our settlement. just not built strictly to a grid so it doesn't really matter um, I'm leaving some room for possible decorations possible side roads new villager born okay so let's do one here and then we'll need to extend the road again That usually gets priority for some reason. I think clearing it. People being hard at work, like our build of work. Nice. Okay, now that we have the stockyard, we can build the other thing we needed. Because we want a market and we need a storehouse and a saw pit. 
So now we can build a storehouse and we can build a root cellar. We want both. Storehouse, probably not too far from the market. But we also don't want to go too far into fertile land. behind here behind the houses here next to the fisher does that work it kind of works but is that how we want I think it should be on the road right it'll be easier for people to get to Should we build it next to the stockyard? No, this is for different kind of products, right? Okay. Um, closer to the center is probably a good idea. Extend this road. No, right. Go. And then the root cellar. I think the root cellar would be good next to the forager. And autumn is starting. Okay, let's have a look at what's going on. We have enough food. Um, but we don't have a lot of firewood. So I'm going to put another person in here. Amria. For firewood. And the foraging shack. Seems to be all right. These nuts have gone. Blueberries are gone. There's still some hawthorn here, some greens. And there is more over there. There's your herbs medicinal roots. That might be good to get as well. So I'm going to put you on something like this. Mr. Zeglan. Zeglan? Zeglan? Yeah, it depends if it's supposed to be English or German or something. See. Zeglan. Okay, anyway, let's go. Better to sight it. Is it going to be a boar or a wolf? Looks like a wolf. Yes, okay, that's fine. This is the area for our hunter as well, right? Where are the deer sightings here? So if I go that, it'd be good. Is our hunter, right? Now I'm zooming too much. Uh oh, uh oh. Ah. The wolf died of his wounds. 
good. So we're getting a decent amount of firewood. We should be good for the winter. This is another shelter. That's okay. We have enough for the people that are living in the village right now. So... We're good. And the smokehouse is up and running. Um, let's see, how much fish and how much meat are we producing? Um, that's the stores. This one. Right, food production. Protein fish, 174. Meat, 240. And a lot of the meats get spoiled. That's not good. So we should smoke more meat. Like almost twice as many. Yeah, it's either two to one or th three to two or something. And what, this is storage, right? No, goods and materials production, okay. And population growth is two. We had one birth and one immigration. Okay. Yeah, so I think two meat to one fish should be fine. Only problem is after it's smoked, it needs to go all the way to the root cellar, which isn't done yet. It's not too far. And the storehouse will be quite a bit further. This is just for logs and stuff, right? Not for food, yeah. And here, for some reason, this is not storage, but this is. Okay, so we have nuts in here, some smoked meat. Another wolf attack. You can see it here. Yep. Oh, and somebody died. Oh, no. That means we need to build a graveyard. Who died? Doesn't tell us. It doesn't tell us. Was it the hunter? No, Yaik seems to be fine. The forager? No. Okay. Some woodcutter, maybe. Oh, that is so sad. Okay, so where should we put the graveyard? Maybe over here. That is my thinking. I'm thinking like four by four. Five by five even is possible. Let's do that. That's uh, future proofing it, right? But we'll need some stone for that, I'm thinking. Now they need to clear it first. Yeah, I would say just take her body and put her temporarily into the ground. And then move the body once the graveyard is officially finished. Because it's going to take probably all winter to get ready. Hmm, it doesn't even say they need stone for that or are they still clearing it. No, that's just work, right? Labor, 300 labor units. Okay, winter has come, we have enough food, we have enough shelter, 
We have enough firewood, I believe. So we should be good. And at least the frost will uh, preserve the body or slow down the decay. Let's say it that way. Yeah, I know. Well, I have assigned it, but people are too lazy to work in the winter, apparently. Oh, no. Here they come. That's going pretty quickly now with two people working on it. Yeah, it will be done before the end of winter, and then they can move the body of whoever it was that was uh, killed by the wolf. And there we go. A beautiful graveyard. Right next to the frozen lake. I hope they don't mind living uh, right next to it. Yeah, they're taking the body. Bringing it to the graveyard. And putting it in a plot here. They even found some flowers. In the middle of winter. Well, that was a uh, sad... Un Unluckily, um, we can't see who. There is no inscription. So. And they're still working on chopping down trees and so on. That's good. We have smoke coming out of the houses. Alta, Greer and Tarlet live here. And it is a new year. We survived our first winter and three new villagers immigrated because they also finished some houses. Very nice. And we had a birth. So they finished this shelter and this one. So that is good. Great stuff. Um, was there anything else we wanted to work on? The root cellar is not done yet. And I should probably look at the forager. Maybe get some willow. What do we actually need for the basket maker? Tannery, cobra shop, Fletcher, basket shop here, forager, storehouse, and saw pit. Okay, so that's pretty soon. We can start uh, gathering willow as well. Too bad there's not too many other things around there to forage. I'm going to reassign your work area to here. You don't really need that many herbs, right? At this point. Later, yes, but... Um, what was it that was it? Saw pit. We need a saw pit. That's also an unwanted kind of building. So let's put that near the uh, smokehouse. Yeah. Let's do that. And then a road extension. Nice. And they're still very busy with chopping down, uh, with splitting firewood. We don't need that much. One person is more than enough, probably. Um, I 
you still have enough stuff to hunt here? Yes. Alright. Then, uh... Yeah, we should grab some additional roots as well. That's not reflected here. Wood production. Stone. Additional roots four, so we got some. Alright. Now we should start planning a farm, I guess. Although we have plenty of food. Did we extend the road here? Not. Yeah, I'm not sure. Should I uh, start planning the farm or should I first do some other buildings like the, uh, the tannery and the Fletcher, the basket shop and the compost yard? We don't immediately need farming. And it takes a lot of work to prepare a field. So I'm thinking maybe wait one more year. Uh, um, market, right? Market. We need a saw pit. We have a storehouse almost ready. So then we need a saw pit. And that is also being worked on. Okay, so let's get those ready and then build a market. I'll leave some space for a trade house, trading post, and a school here in the middle. And then we can work on farms over here. Maybe start with a couple of small farms right here. Thinking we also will have to build a couple more wells, maybe one here and one on this side. So I'm expecting we'll build more houses here. This side of the road, it will be better. Okay, so we have, this is a six by six, right? Yeah, so maybe. Okay, we are, we have full house now again. Don't want to chop down the tree, and these are oh, hawthorns can go. So I'm guessing here would be good. And then extend the road just a little bit more. And then probably here as well, if we can avoid the trees, leave some of the trees there. Those trees help with uh, keeping the water here. So the well will be more productive, so to say, when there are trees around. 
Okay, it seems we have enough stone. But yeah, logs is always at zero because we keep building or if not... Okay. Um, they will be hauled off to like the firewood splitter. Build sites need resources. We need logs. And what? Just logs? And logs. No stones have been selected. Okay, there's some stones I saw here. Are there any stones here? No. There. What about that one? No, oh, it's just a tree. Stump. Oh, log, whatever lying there. Okay, so we have selected a few more rocks. But we'll probably need to start exploring more. Here's another clump. This mountain. Okay, what about trees? Yeah, we have no trees selected either. Um, so I said we want to keep those, but we want like a road maybe here. So that one can go and I think this one can go. And we might as well start clearing some here. This is Hawthorne, right? Let's leave the greens. This. Hmm. Apparently it's not a tree. Now we can do bushes. Yeah, it only yields two, so it's not. But here, we can do the whole clump. Because this is where I'm thinking the first uh, farming. Eventually, we'll, we'll move into here as well. And I guess we could cut down its bushes, right? These. Okay, guys, now you have uh, some more resources to harvest. And we can build our buildings. And this bit of road doesn't get built, huh? This was a later addition, but I guess it's more useful. Hmm, the root cellar has a good amount of food. storehouse look at all the stuff we can store there and uh, finally the soul pit Yeah, 
There they come. Okay. A little bit of hammering. Apparently now it builds itself. And it's done. Great. So that means now people can start. Uh, two people have been automatically assigned to saw logs into planks. All right. We have enough food. We have great happiness. Yeah, we need to start looking at making clothes and shoes. Um, yeah, looks good. We have 10 laborers. That's a lot. So we can assign more people to do like firewood splitting for the winter and making planks in the saw pit. Maybe assign another forager. Although, like I said, we do have enough food and none of it will spoil because most of it is smoked. All the fresh stuff gets eaten or smoked. Nice. We should get some eggs though. And maybe some mushrooms. All right. Uh, market, right? Now we can build a market. So let's assign that. Like, is this a house? That's a shelter, right? Yeah. So let's do this one here. And then we'll get a trading post right back to it when we upgrade our town center. All right. Uh, foraging, how are we doing? You're assigned here. You got the willow. All right, now you have nothing to do. Oh, there's some berries still within reach. Yeah, there's a lot more here, though. There's even willow here. Ah, I see, right here. And here. Nice. What about the medicinal roots? Yeah. Okay. You go there. You still have... Um, Six deer here, right? Yeah, we'll want to build another hunter at least to take care of the boar on that side. When we get, oh, hazelnut bush. Oh, can they be? Uh, I'm, just, I'm sorry, I need to reassign you here right now. Hazelnuts. I want those. And then I'll get you to the medicinal roots and the berries over here. Forty planks. While well, they're working on it, did we assign somebody else? Yeah, we have enough laborers. We can assign a couple others to speed up this process. I know I don't want to get more until I have everything I need. Because more people means we need more food. We need more firewood and all that. But we'll get to that in due time. These harvesting berries. Yeah. Can you just go and harvest these? These nuts.
So we have four people cutting wood planks and stoking the saw pit. Okay. Yeah. They are getting logs. Okay, that's good. Because uh, I always have the impression that most of that stuff goes to the firewood splitter. But it seems we're good here. Yeah. that and can I do it like this it still shows the 28 blanks that are needed yeah I think that's supposed to be under f2 but that's currently disabled so. all right let's wait until the market is finished and then we'll call it an episode And then I'll see you again tomorrow for the next episode. New Adventures of Newland. Well, we have a happy village now with 20 people. That's pretty good. Autumn rain. Cold temperature, moderate breeze. Some people are busy cutting down trees. Bring the logs to the saw pit. Wonderful. And then bring the planks to where the market is being built. It's starting to take shape. Winter is coming. Let's hurry up. We have plenty of food, plenty of firewood. Oh, we have plenty of logs now too. Just need a little bit of work to get this market ready. And there we are. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hit that like button and check back again tomorrow for the second episode of Newland.